This video covers the removal and replacement of your fuel injector. But before you can do that, you must remove this high pressure fuel line from your fuel pump. Now in this video, I've done this in the reverse order. I'd recommend not removing these two bolts first like I've done here. Um, I would first want to loosen the high pressure fuel line right below it. it would make life a lot easier. Uh, but what I've done here is we remove these two bolts on top of the engine. And the plate that holds down the fuel injector. So if you do it in the reverse order like I did it here, it's a little hard to pull out the fuel injector because the line's too tight. So actually what I did here is just undid it, pulled it out of the way, and then it comes out easily. Be very careful when you remove it. Sometimes what can be left behind are these little copper washers. Very important. There's a few of them, and you can easily drop one. like I just did, and if you don't notice it, recover it, or damage it, the distance that the fuel injector is uh, protruding into the engine will make a huge difference in how your generator runs. In this case, we have three of them. The factory has determined what the thickness of them should be and how far the fuel injector will protrude into the engine combustion chamber. And by you losing one of these, not replacing them afterwards, your generator will never run the same. There is another line on the fuel injector, a rubber hose, don't worry about that. You want to reconnect your uh, high pressure fuel line here. I'm, I'm actually reconnecting it because I want to crank the engine and see the fuel injector uh, spraying fuel in four directions. And, uh, in order to do so, I got to flip it upside down and reconnect the high pressure fuel line. And uh, the other end has to be reconnected and possibly bend the fuel line again just to get it to line up. Uh, reconnect it back to the fuel pump. Make sure it's good and secure. Otherwise, fuel will leak. And uh, you won't be able to see what I'm about to show you. Don't forget your throttle has to be in the run position, otherwise you'll have no fuel. Now I just wanted to see if the fuel injector is working or plugged and what it looks like, so what I'm going to do is crank here and watch what happens. Nice fine mist in four directions, that's what I was looking for, it appears to be fine, everything's okay, I'm putting things back together. Force, nothing, except for the metal fuel line you can bend. When you put the fuel injector back in, make sure those copper washers and that uh, insert haven't fallen out. You're not forcing anything. There's a pin to line it up. Everything should go back into place easily and you should be able to finger tighten it. Um, notice how much room is left on the threads here so you know whether you have inserted the uh, fuel injector properly again. I'm not forcing down on it right now where it might not be sitting properly. It's not tight enough. I had to have difficulties, uh, some compression loss. Make sure your fuel lines are tight, nothing's going to leak, and the engine won't run. The high pressure fuel line has some flexibility in it. You can bend it a little bit back into shape so you're not cross threading it. Putting it back together again, once you've got it lined up, you should be able to get it finger tight. Final turn with the wrench down on it a little bit and you're done. So it's not leaking. And that's it.